Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you? It just so happens that right now I'm in a mood to make a video. But it also just so happens that my camera doesn't want to read my card and doesn't want to format my card to the camera. So we are in the process of needing to go get a new card. But why wait? Right? Avoiding resistance. It's something interesting, isn't it? But I wanted to make a video that has been really requested. And although the reason why I haven't necessarily posted uh, this video yet is because I haven't known how I have wanted to go about it. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video with the topic of living by yourself, living alone, being alone, you know, things like that. And like I said, I didn't know if I wanted to, even though I'm not capable of doing that right now, making a like educational video on how to live by yourself. So like I'm not going to title this how to live by yourself, how to live on your own. How to be successful living all by yourself because I don't know how and I'm still learning so I thought to myself well why wait until I'm actually successful and experienced and smart enough you know educated enough on how to be well off by yourself and living on your own without struggling without stresses without anxiety yeah, I wish I could do that, but I can't. And I was thinking to myself, well, dude, you have learned a lot. So why not put together a whole list of the things, serious topics, you know, that revolve around living by yourself and talk about that, you know, like how to take care of yourself emotionally, how to take care of yourself physically, how to make sure that you're, you have enough food, how to make sure you're eating the right food, how to take care of animals while living by yourself, how to take care of plants, like how to make sure you stay on top of bills. Yeah. But then I got to thinking it, you know, damn dude, you don't really know how to stay on top of bills that well yet. You don't really know how to take care of yourself yet. You don't really know how to make sure you have enough money to make sure that you have enough food, you know, to cook with. Because there's, it's real different in today's age where you can go out and buy a whole meal already pre-made, not that it's healthy or made in the correct ways or with the correct ingredients, for five bucks at like McDonald's or you know, heck McDonald's is so bad, Chick-fil-A for like seven, eight dollars, you can get a whole meal. Or you know, you can go to the store and you can buy single ingredients to try to dish up a whole meal with like chicken yourself, but the chicken that you're gonna buy is gonna cost more than the meal of the already pre-made chicken, starting to rant, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so then, long story short, I thought to myself, like, writing a list would be so goofy and you would probably sound so silly to an actual adult, an average adult that knows what they're doing, who can support themselves, others, and three kids, and they live in a house, and they have multiple cars, like, they're actually supporting themselves, you know what I mean? But then again, a lot of that is materialistic, so it also comes down to how you want to live your life, what aspects you want to follow, what morals you want to follow, what you want to do, right? So anyway, I'm just going to kind of get into starting, even though it's already four minutes in and I haven't even started with anything interesting. But yeah, so hi. Um, if this is kind of your first video you've ever seen of me, my name is Sarah and I am 22 years old. And for the past two years of my life, I have been living by myself. And when I say living by myself, um, I don't necessarily mean that like, oh, I just moved out one day, I saved up enough money, I have a couple friends that I wanted to go move into an apartment with. I had a series of like events happen that literally just slapped me into this position. I didn't want this, I didn't ask for this, I wasn't prepared for this. So I think that's also some of the reason, I don't know why I just had the brain fart, that's also a huge reason why I don't really know how to go about this video. I just totally had a brain fart, which sucks. But anyway, oh yeah, <laughs> on, and on top of that, I am living with a bunch, it's not necessarily mental issues. I do have some mental 
issues when it comes to emotions, but I also have a brain injury from a really bad accident I was in. So that is kind of another reason why it is challenging for me to even think of how to make this video because no one is quote unquote normal. I get that and it's so like cliche to say that and what is normal? Like, okay, yeah, but also what is it like living with a brain injury and multiple mental problems? It's difficult and it's hard. So it's, it's not... I don't know. That's so interesting. Like, what the way I live is probably a lot more difficult and harder than the average person. So I haven't wanted to make this because of the simple fact that I don't want to scare people into thinking, oh my god, I never want to live by myself. Oh my god, I'm not ready to do this. Oh my god, oh, I want a roommate. Like, I don't want to have to ever be by myself in my own thoughts. But no, that's not what I want to talk about. I just want to be real. I don't want to worry about scaring anybody. I don't want to worry about altering anybody's choices on their living situation or their future living situations. I just want to talk about my experience because a lot of people have been curious about it. And yeah, so anyway, my dad passed away two years ago. And it's weird to say that because it doesn't seem like it's been that long. And I haven't necessarily made any of the progress that I want to make. So I think that is one thing that it takes when you live by yourself is accepting the reality that is outside of your house. It's difficult, but it's something that has to happen or you will be stuck in your own little world. This is so hard. I probably should have made a list. But when my dad passed away, I had kind of one choice and one choice only, and that was basically become my dad. And as weird as that sounds, it was like I had to stop being the person that I was, the average Joe who just sat around watching YouTube videos, but it's weird because I still do that and it's hindering my progress, it's hurting me, mostly because I get distracted easily, I have memory problems, and I have resistance issues, I have procrastination issues, so all of these things make it a little bit hard for life by yourself. So individual initiate initiative is what it really takes, you know? So I don't know why I'm still trying to make this video about like, oh, this is how you do it. My experience. Okay, it's been hard as heck, all right? Me personally, I wish it wasn't and I wish I would have put my ducks in a row two years ago, but I just wasn't prepared enough and I wasn't ready for... The situation that came about. So originally this is my mom and I's little place. It's not a house, it's not an apartment, it's like a little townhome. It's like one house split into two. I have a next door neighbor. If I tapped on this wall, they're probably sleeping right there. So you know, I mean I guess that helps ease my anxiety a lot of the time. I'm not just in a house necessarily by myself. Like I know that's going to sound weird, but it's the things that go through my head because I don't have that protection anymore. I don't have a dad I can call. I don't have a mom I can call. And I don't necessarily, in my current position, I don't know if my family members would answer right away if I called. And so I just don't, you know, prepare yourself for the unexpected type weird stuff. No, I'm ready for, you know, I don't know, whatever. So anyway, one of the things that has helped me with living by myself this is i is the turning into a mess yo welcome to my life this is what i do i just try to get by imagining i was a normal person and just what a normal person should do but anyway when my mom passed away it threw me through a loophole a wormhole i wasn't old enough to live by myself so my dad moved in when my dad moved in it was a complete 360. It's like going from living with your best friend to somebody that you just see every other, you know. On, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not literally that's how it was. But you know how even if you have parents that are together, married still, you just you kind of favor one over the other. Like you're either a mama's girl or you're a daddy's girl. You're a mama's boy or a mama's boy. <laughs> a mama's boy or a daddy's boy. And maybe neither, but in my position... I was literally a leech to my mom. I carried, I carried her. She carried me. I slept with her. Like, literally, I was a puppy to that woman. And then 
it was like, you know, a third cousin moved in, you know? Somebody that I didn't tell everything to. Somebody that I really, you know, I didn't really hug here and there. Like, it was literally, it was just so different. It was just a different life situation completely. It was completely different. I wasn't ready for it. Again, I wasn't prepared for it. So I kind of was getting used to what life was like living with my dad and how to get along with my dad. I'm sure it just is the same exact thing with living with a roommate. Except, holy moly, dad, bless bless you, bless you. But it was so hard living with somebody else. It really was. I, I don't know if it's just the type of person I am, the type of person that I evolved into after different things that I've been through. And even sometimes, though, like nowadays, I would do anything to go back to having him here. But in reality, when him and I were living together, it was just really hard. And I'll even be honest, when he was sick, it was so hard. We were always butting heads. It was literally, it, it was hard. It was so hard. So then for all of a sudden, I got used to that. I got used to kind of a hard, just weird life. I was expecting death to knock at the door every day. I was trying to soothe somebody who, you know, had completely different outlooks on death than myself. So, you know, I didn't get to have those conversations with my mom that I wanted to have with my dad. I'm so sorry this video is all over the place, but I guess I just have some stuff I want to talk about. But low-key, I don't have that long. Of, you know, I don't want to make this video long. But anyway, I was getting used to then, you know, living with that. Even though I was living like that when my mom was here, it's just different. Like I said, it's different taking care of somebody that you're used to being around, but it's you just don't know them very well. Like It's almost like my mom and I knew each other like the back of our hands. My dad and I, we didn't. So at the same time you're trying to learn as much as you can about somebody before they literally die, you're also trying to progress in life, trying to get ready to know what it's like being by yourself, while they also had a girlfriend. So it's like you're trying to live in cover all of these different topics and it was just hard okay so then my dad gets really sick and he passes away okay then I am really by myself yo it was weird and it still is weird I haven't accepted things like I said the first key aspect to being by yourself is accepting reality so I honestly believe that the sooner I come to terms with just all of the events, it will be easier for me and my brain to focus on getting the day-to-day -day things finished. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I low-key knew that making a video about living alone would be hard because it is. And for those of you who are out there, because I've gotten the comments, I know you're out there, and I hope you're watching this. Like, YouTube's weird with notifying people about my videos or whatever, but you know how hard it is. Like, you are literally by yourself just in your thoughts. You know, it's like, and I'm not the person who can get lost in TV. So I do try to get lost in YouTube, which helps and stuff, but yo, there's 24 hours in a day, and it just repeats itself every single day. So it's either you live in this matrix outside of the matrix that's out there that you create in your own head where it's just like, holy crap, I wake up, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep. If like you, if I have that mindset, I will go nowhere. I will probably lose my house. I will get nothing paid. Nothing will happen. And keep in mind, my brain injury makes it really, really hard for for me to be a normal person by myself, right? So it was literally like my dad was a service dog. He was my caretaker, like my babysitter 24 seven. I'm not kidding. So when that disappears, the person who was in charge of everything, yo, like he was in charge of batshit everything, literally everything. It's just so eye opening. Like, it's so eye-opening, you guys, but I don't know. My experience has been so weird. Like, I've never really taken the time to sit down and just be like, damn, what has it been like being by yourself, living by yourself in the situation that you're in? And I guarantee you, sometimes if I just sit there and think about it, it would drive me so crazy and make me so sad.
that I would have to be distracting myself. And I don't like distracting myself with like making makeup tutorials. That's why I haven't really made any lately because I have been just like in a weird, you know, position. It's like I'm trying to make sure I have enough money to live. And when you're doing that, you don't have enough time to sit down and have fun. And then that's also been something really, really hard for me to swallow is in one aspect, I wasn't working because of my brain injury. But in another aspect, I didn't have to because I was becoming so successful on YouTube and I was making so much money. Things have changed. Certain videos that like my video that has 58 million views, that was not flagged until not too long ago. So that video was literally making me my rent and not even like, you know, and then it's different too when you own a house compared to when you're just renting an apartment. Like I own this place. So there's so many, so many bills, so many, it's disgusting. It really makes you wonder why the world works this way. And then I probably sound so petty, so ignorant and so stupid compared to the average adults or the other people who are like, yeah, dude, I've been paying bills since I was 18. I've been taking care of my family since I was 16. Like, we know this. But low key, when you're somebody like myself, who I will admit and not even be ashamed, like lives under a rock and did my whole childhood, like, holy hell, when you have really protective parents, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you almost don't see the outside light. And when you do, it's filtered. You're not seeing it through like the real, the real thing. So when it's almost like all the bad shit was covered with a band-aid, because my parents did. It's like they shielded me unintentionally plus intentionally from all of the negative stuff that now that I'm by myself in the real world, living by myself without anybody to call or keep a band-aid on or put a band-aid on when I rip one off or one falls off or to even call when I feel a cut coming and I might need some antibacterial spray. Like, yo, when you're just secluded by yourself, like I promise my life would have been, my life would be so different if I was living here, but my dad was just out with his girlfriend. I was in the mindset and the position where I could have moved out and been on my own, but my parents were still here. And like, don't get me wrong. It's so hard to talk about things like this because we all have such different situations that some people never knew their parents. Some people's parents walked out on them. Like, But it's just so different going from having parents that were literally there every waking, breathing, sleeping hour to never seeing them again in your life and never hearing from them. And then trying to cope with that thought while coping with the idea that you got to get back on track and you got to teach yourself everything that school didn't teach you, your parents didn't teach you. And like low key, if I could go back and like flick my parents in the forehead and just be like, yo, why didn't you teach me these things? I needed to know this way more than I needed to learn about anything else, you know? Like those days you saw me on the couch watching Dr. Phil, why didn't you yell at me, you know? So like low key, if you guys still have parents out there or if you have an adult who is experienced in this world and knows what it's like to kind of walk this place, both alone, with support, with shoes and without shoes, talk to them, listen to them, and get some advice. Everything they say might not be valid, it might not be true, but through their experience, it's helped them get to where they are now, and they're not dead, and they're not homeless, you know? So if we all work together, maybe we can fix this messed up system, because I'm telling you, yo, I was, and I don't want to sound ignorant, like it sucks, yo, I will be the one to say reality smacked me in my face. I was living on cloud nine for a minute, even with my parents being dead. And it was because the views were coming, YouTube was being successful, I was getting good sponsorships, like things like that, you know what I mean? But then it all stopped. And what's weird is I low-key had a feeling that would happen in the beginning. Like when I was around 100,000 subscribers and I was really on my come up and I was just starting to get brand deals and I was hearing how much like success you can have on YouTube, in my head I was like, damn dude, what if I get really successful and then it all stops or just YouTube all erases? And that's when I started building up my website because then my website can also be another source of income to help me live by myself. Because I'm so serious, yo. Working a minimum wage job will not let you survive in this world. It, if it does, you are literally scraping your knees and your fingernails are falling off of your body because you're trying to drag yourselves like up the stairs. You know what I mean? You're so tired because you don't even have enough money to go get like food. And if you do, it's BS food that you eat and then you get tired after eating it because it's just made with a whole bunch of crap. You know what I mean?
But then in my head, like, I'm so sorry this video is all over the place. I might not even label this, like, living by yourself because I don't, I literally don't, I don't want to scare people, but life is so freaking scary. And nobody told me about it. Just like, you know, I, I, I always live by a lot of quotes because it's crazy. Even if you don't understand a quote, write it down and I guarantee you three weeks later, three months later, three years later, it will make sense. And then you can live by it. And I know that sounds weird or stupid or dorky, but like the little fault in our stars, and I don't even watch movies, but that those quotes in that movie stuck with me and that I watched that maybe four or five years ago. I had poles in my hips still when I was sitting on that couch down there watching that movie. And they said, life is not a wish-granting factor. Literally, it's not. And the second you realize that, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, I wish I had more money. I wish I had a bigger house. I wish I had more friends. It doesn't work like that, you know? And that's why I'm just like, one, making videos is because I want people to learn from my mistakes and also see that it's stupid and un unnecessary to add other struggles on top of you. So if you, you are living by yourself and you're struggling, write down a list of the struggles and the things that are stressing you out. And if it's other people, get those other people out of your life. Don't let those people around you. If it's your job, yo, maybe we just got to find another job. And what also sucks, and I just like, I'll be honest because I don't really have many people to talk to about this. And I mean, I don't think my boss will watch this, but low key. It's so hard work, like to work, and it's real interesting. I've always wanted to make a video about this, but one time I was a part of a case study for a hospital out here, and they were doing this research study. Sorry, I just repeated that research word twice. But they were doing a study to figure out if people who had brain injuries and mental issues, if it was better off for their well-being, like forget money aspect, forget this whole grind on grind, fake it till you make it, but if people who literally cannot do that physically mentally spiritually they can't do that if it will help them the poor little souls to just at least volunteer so we had a whole group of us it was real cool yo all different ages it, it literally opens your eyes and into seeing that you're not by yourself dude it doesn't matter what age you are what gender what race what mindset you have you are not by yourself you think you're struggling then your next door neighbor might be struggling just as hard if not harder but anyway Long story short, that case study was a, it was a, it was a trial, it was a, a little bit too, but we volunteered in different places. We didn't work, we didn't get paid, it was none of that, but it was just to see how our minds worked and if it helped us, if it helped at all. It was so interesting to see the results and stuff, but volunteering is so different than working. And I don't know, like, it literally, I think you have to have mental issues and I don't want to seclude anybody, like I really don't, but it's like, it is so hard for me to, oh my god, I don't know how to explain this, yo, without sounding stupid. It's almost like, I, I don't know. But it is really, really hard to work, work for somebody who has a normal life and a normal mindset, who has, like, you know, pay, the both of their parents, Normal, normal, you know, it's so hard working under and for somebody like that. And I'm not even trying to sound rude. I don't want to sound like, like a brat. I really don't. But it's like, this is, this is like why I'm not in school. My, my brain. So it's like when I am, I just like, I really do right now. I just want to talk to you guys. I don't want it to sound like. I'm complaining in any way, shape, or form. I'm so blessed for my life. I'm so blessed for my position. I'm so blessed that I can still get up and go do things. Like, don't get me wrong. But I'm drowning. Like, you know what I mean? Money is just, like, flickering away like a dry leaf, yo. So it's literally like, yo, you have no choice, but... You... I don't know. And then it's goofy because it's like, I don't know. I'm sorry this video is such a mess. But 
Yeah, yo, I just like, I did, I was in a bubble. And then, yeah, yo, you can't be irresponsible and live by yourself. And I low-key was, like, and I still am, and it's real hard, and it's scary, too. And you also, you can't compare yourself to others, because, like, like, literally, if you were to sit here and be like, damn, you know, there's 17, 18-year-olds out there who are just balling. It's silly to think like that. It, it is. It is so silly. But you know what? It's been hard. It has been hard living by myself. If I did not have my animals, I don't know where I would be. I really don't. I really don't. But it's it's been hard as hell. And it's actually gotten harder, which is weird too. Like, oh, everything gets better with time. <laughs> Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. That's what they also don't tell you. And a lot of people do tell you, but some of us don't believe it. But it's like... You know, when my dad first passed away, it was almost like I was just, I was in survival mode, but I was still awake. So like when my mom passed away, I went into survival mode and I was asleep. Like I was asleep as hell. I was depressed. I was sad. I was just, I was dead, dude. But then my dad passed away and I could not, I could not do that to you guys. I could not literally allow, not like literally that, but. I cannot allow my light to just die, but it low-key has, even though I've been trying not to and I've been avoiding the effect that it has totally almost burnt out. Yeah. Alright, you know where I was going with that. But I promise you, yo, checklists especially if you got memory problems or like severe ADD ADHD you just your brain doesn't know when to stop or what to focus on doesn't even know the difference between what's important and what's unimportant lists I promise and make sure you put a box next to what you write because then when you check it yeah it gives a insane brain a little bit of sanity for a second but also, I promise you, dude, living by yourself, it's you, you got to learn how yourself works. I almost advise everybody, everybody, live alone for at least a little. Cool, you found somebody that you think you are just damn in love with and that you're just going to marry and have kids with. But yo, if you just move from living with your parents to then living with your boyfriend or living with your girlfriend... I promise you that filter won't dissipate and just c could you imagine because I couldn't imagine it, ignorance is bliss but I could not imagine what it would be like if my parents were still here and I just like went and moved in with some friends or moved in with other people like of course you should take advantage of your, like your situations and the people that are around you but not take advantage of the people around you but you know what I mean like you know work together but yo, I would, I don't know, it's like weird. I don't know if it's contradicting to say, but like I would definitely have a damn smile on my face. And it's so sad, just the simple idea of security, having a security blanket with a freaking pyramid on it that just happens to be green or blue with a dead president on it. Like, who knew, yo? And I've always never wanted to be the type of person who relies on money, and I never will be, but low-key, you kind of have to. In this world, like, and I've always, like, I've always thought to myself, why don't we all just stop what we're doing? And I know it sounds so silly, because we don't know what would happen, but it would, it would definitely take all of us. And this is where all oh, your weird little theory head starts going in and thinking about the impossible, but... If you think about it, dude, we've all just been sitting on our asses getting told what to do and just letting all of our money go down the drain. And I know, oh my god, I might get shit for this. I really will. So many people are like, do you know how many people have been only working for this and that? And it's like, yes, I promise. I promise. When my parents were born, it was in the 50s. They, we weren't getting paid the way we were now back then. 
and look at how we're complaining now. But it's weird. It's like the more you get paid, the more that things like you know, the more minimum wage gets higher, the higher prices of everything else go. So cool, you're making a little bit more money, but society sees that. It's so silly. It really is silly. But we sit back and act like we can't do anything about it, and then we just cry about it. But literally, what if one day we all just stopped? We all just stopped. Everybody was like, you know what? I'm not going to pay that. And what if... So far-fetched, but then what if I don't leave when you tell me to? Like, this is my house. This is my property. What if... I don't know. Humans put their foot down for once. Like, literally... You're looking in the eyes of another human and they're going to, like, I do get it. This world is so much deeper and so much more complex. But if we take off all of these little weird little things that we've created ourselves and just, like, look at it from a bigger picture, like an extraterrestrial species looking down at the human society and just think to ourselves, like, damn, we really sit there and listen to each other. If one poor person, and I'm not meaning poor as in, like, oh, you don't have money, but I'm saying, like, poor as in it's such a sad situation. Like, it's a poor time. You know what I mean? They can't afford the house, but another human's going to tell them to get the hell out of it and just go sleep on the street and we listen. Like, you just say, okay, let me pack my bags and I'll be out in a second. Like, yo, like, I don't know. It's just so weird. This world is so weird. And yeah, we could sit back and just not think about it and not look at it and not care. But it's like, it's so messed up in so many different aspects. And we aren't doing anything about it. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry I can't stay on topic. I know I'm supposed to be talking about what life is like living on your own, but I'm serious. I literally cannot wait until I look back in a couple years and I post a video that is actually helping giving advice on how to be successful living by yourself because I am and I say I've like moved into a big old house and I finally have a yard for Oblio. Like that's all I want is a yard for that little guy. I do. That's all. Rest in peace. Slap me on my wrist and close the casket. Like, I will be Gucci. You know? That will be cool. But as of right now, I can't do that. You know? But so many people are like, yo, how do you do it? How do you do it? And it's like, I'm doing it just like you. I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm just getting up and doing what I can to freaking survive, dude. I literally... I never, ever will solely. No, I won't. Like, it's not in me. Not here on YouTube to make money. I'm here to just share my experiences. But it's just, it sucks though, dude, because back in the day when I was real peppy and I was just makeup tutorials out the butt, I was spewing them out. My advice videos were just coming so clean and it was because I was, I was good dude i wasn't struggling i wasn't not mentally not physically not financially not in the friendship category not in like a relationship category like nah everything's gucci but then like time just slowly crept up it was so easy for me to just turn on the camera like dude there's so many times when I want to turn on the camera but then it's like dude but you've got you've got bills and then it sucks because I make more money off of one sponsorship than I do in two weeks working you're only awake 12 hours of the day and you're telling me that for eight nine hours it just it I you can't dude and then it drains me like it sucks. They all woke up to the real world. Like, yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. I'm here. I am here. But, yo, it's just like... I make more money making YouTube videos. But I don't want to lose you guys. And a lot of people have turned their shoulder on me because... Why are you doing a sponsored video? Why are you just making these videos? Where are your old videos? It's like, shit. I miss it, too. I want to be making those old videos too, but I like, I'm not goofy, dude, if I'm scared about my, it's not even scared, but just like unsure, anxious, stressed out about how much money I have, about if I'm even going to be able to pay this, about like, 
Like, yo, it's literally, I'll, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it, but it's gotten to the point where I'm not surprised when I log onto my laptop, or onto my laptop, onto my little desktop, and I don't have internet. Like, I just don't. And then I just call them, like, hey, sorry. Just wait 24 hours. Typically, they say it'll be 24 hours, Sarah, but you know, usually within three to four hours, it'll be back on. I'm like, all right, thanks. And I just sit down and read a book for a little bit. Hopefully, next month, I'll have, like, you know, it's just, it's goofy. So, how can I be goofy when my situation is literally goofy? You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, like I've never made a video about dealing with mental illnesses, about living by yourself, about dealing with like, you know, parents dying. It's because I'm still learning how to deal with it. I'm still learning and I'll probably be on my deathbed saying, I'm still still learning about life. I'm still learning about how to do this. But it's like, yo, I really want to get going. Like, and I want all of us to get going because I cannot be the only person who is in this situation. I know I'm not. I can't be. But yo, it's just like, I don't know. I personally don't ever see many people make these videos. Like I, I've been following this one girl who now she's on to making these videos are all about like how to make 10,000 this and how to how to do this and how to become a millionaire and a billionaire and like it's just crazy but it's all after it's not during the process it's not before So I don't know. You guys are on this journey with me. Literally, like, you're watching me. A lot of people are like, what, how, how is it, how is it living by yourself? Watch the progression, like, you know, in my videos. Like, <laughs> you know? It's difficult. My experience has been difficult. It won't be for forever, but for this present moment. At first it wasn't. It's literally just, it's been a different roller coaster with a different theme park every freaking year. You know what I mean? I guess I could say it's, in the scheme of things, no, it's never boring, you know? But I don't know, dude, living by yourself, it's either the days go by fast as hell or slow. And when they go by slow, it's definitely difficult. But of course, it also doesn't go by slow if you have things to do. But you also have the desire. You need to have the desire to want to do things. So that's where I said individual initiative comes into uh, into key play. You know? So it is. I'm still learning. And that's why I'm still here for you guys. Because I haven't given up. You know? And thank you guys for not giving up on me. You guys who haven't and are still here. Like, I promise, dude, I want to make old videos. I want to get back to, like, my advice videos. But it's been hard, dude, and I've been... It's not even though that I'm sad, because I'm really not sad, dude. It's like, I'm just tired. Go to sleep more. It's like, yeah, nah, there's no time. And like, like I said, it's really important to have different incomes, you know? You got to have different as aspects, different incomes. So like a part of me has been like starting to draw again, a part of me. I have been starting to draw again, and I was like, yo, maybe I could start selling my art. I don't know, and also I was like, I just gotta get this. I'm no I there's a lot of stuff I haven't talked to you guys about. Like there's a reason why I my website's not out. I'm not like you know. It's like what it's like living by yourself. It's also like what it's like making a website by yourself, you know? That I could do a video like that with this, you know? I went from having a dad and a whole team of helpers to nothing. And that's what happened with my website. I had a whole bunch of help. I'm not a computer geek or none of that. And then all of a sudden, disappeared. So now I'm starting over from scratch. And it's it's awesome, though. Like, I love the experience. I love that it hasn't been easy. You know, like I said, it makes it a little bit more exciting. Definitely harder and definitely want to smack my face on the little keyboard, but hell, 
I know the second that gets up, I could, you know, only post certain things on my website. If I want to do a sponsored video, I'll post it on there, but, you know, not make it necessarily public. I don't know how to, you know, I got my ideas, ideas but literally what it comes down to, dude, is like I keep repeating my freaking self, but it's been a journey living by myself. I've been experimenting in different aspects with whether it be my source of income, with how I eat. Certain eating styles take a certain financial income. Some of the healthy food is the most expensive, dude. So it's I've been experimenting. My life has been nothing but trial and errors. It's like I'm my own human guinea pig, and I just hope that I don't go down in one of my experiments. You know? But, dude, I have so much that I want to cover, but I already feel like I'm, like, 70 years old. And I know that's silly, but I'm, I'm just being honest. So... Like I said, I just, I can't wait until I can just sit down and actually be like, yo, I'm in my, and I know it all sounds materialistic, but I swear, even Oprah's little goofy booty said, you know, she knows what it's like to have nothing, and she knows what it's like to have something. She knows what it's like to be dirt poor. She knows what it's like to be filthy rich. It's silly to choose to be poor. She says that. And it is. I was always like, you know, just typical, just middle line not rich not poor but when you fall off that middle line onto the other section and you've never been there before it's different i want to learn how to get out of it so i can help you guys not necessarily like help you guys like that not at all but like give you guys advice that maybe you guys can apply it or try it out like i did see if it helps and if it didn't you know i'm sorry but I swear, dude, I, I really do. All the videos that I post are for you guys. And if it, it looks like I'm posting a video just for myself or it doesn't make sense, or like, well, yo, why are you doing that? It's only because I want to make sure that I'm still right so I could continue to keep making those videos for you. Like I was watching this one video the other day of this girl who was talking about, you know, why YouTubers are broke, basically. And she was just saying that, like, a lot of people just jump onto this aspect that, like, you know, you can't do something because it's, you know, it's not a part of your original plan. Like, I literally said to myself, little, a miniature Dolph over here, I'm gonna never clock in no more. Help my people do the same thing. I don't want anybody to be a part of this system. It's a messed up one. What they support and what they stand for is messed up. So I promise you, yo, if you ever see a video and you're just like, why is she unboxing a Poshmark box? I just am trying to make sure that I'm still financially stable so I'm not worried and really off in my next video, you know what I mean? And then people are like, yo, what's wrong? And it's like, there's just so many things that it'll just sound goofy if I talk about it, you know? Like, what's your life like, you know? You never know. So yeah, I'm going to end this one here. I don't know what I'm going to call this, dude. I don't know. And some of the... I don't know if I should edit this at all. I probably won't, dude. I'll probably just post this, see what happens. But yeah, I'm a work in progress. Like, we all are, you know what I mean? But it's just, it's been a journey. Sorry, I'm, I'll admit, I'm, like, looking at myself. Because then sometimes it's weird looking at yourself. You don't really know who you are. Not, like, in that sense, yeah, in that sense, but not really. But you know what I mean. But anyway. It's also weird because you're technically not by yourself. You have yourself. Just sanity is key, I would almost say. But, you know... I don't know, maybe this was a goofy video. I don't know. It might have no point or substance. It's just like an empty bag. 
Sarah, why are you giving us an empty bag? Babe, I promise. We've got the bag. That's the first step. I'll take it. Take it and flip it, but we won't tumble it. So yeah, as I said, I got the bag, and I promise, it's a, I don't know, it's, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but this, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm gonna end this here, sorry if this is all over the place, I didn't, or if there was really no place at all, I was like, but you're trying to wait for the marker to drop, like, you know, she has a point, where is it gonna land, and it never did, it's still hovering, but maybe in my next video it'll land, and we'll finally be like, ooh, destination pinpoint, but, yeah, so, I feel like I should just end this, because I don't know what else to say, and I feel like I've been talking for 46 minutes, but didn't cover anything important, so, anyway, I hope you guys have a peaceful night. I really do. And until next time, don't let anything rush your mind. Remember that. Good day, man.